556, I, I, was, I was shocked. I thought it was gonna be so much lower than that. So, got my testosterone results through. Let's take a look, shall we? Take a look, see. So, my result came in at What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreleads.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Gabrielle Say. So this was sent to me by a bunch of you guys about, I got my test results back in his video description. It says, TRT is the latest craze in the fitness industry at the moment. And with me approaching 40, I thought it would be interesting to explore my current test levels and a bit more about TRT and see whether it is one to consider. So I got my blood tested. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna put it at 1.25. Time speed, and I'll just talk faster. What if I start gaining weight? What if I start losing muscle mass? What if my bones start getting fragile? What if I start getting tired all the time? What if I start getting like breast tissue? What if my metabolism goes? What if I start getting insomnia? What if I fall into the What if my sex drive tank? One, one, what's popping? What's good? Welcome back to another video. So TRT seems to be the latest fitness craze. And I'm almost 37, turn 37 next month. I can't help but think, is my test declining? Gains are a bit harder to get, so do they need boosting? So I guess I'm gonna be testing my test. Now the reason I think TRT is growing in the fitness industry is because I guess it's a more accepted way of taking performance enhancing drugs because it's medically prescribed as opposed to steroids which are illegal. But yeah, it is rel kind of true because there are some HRT clinics that are basically just bonafide underground labs and they sell shit like D-ball, fucking shit that does not even legally make sense to sell. Um, and you know, they'll prescribe testosterone upwards of 300 milligrams, which is obviously not TRT for fucking anybody. But there are obviously actual clinics that are going by the book and uh, doing things the proper way and making sure people are dialed in and optimized rather than just fucking giving you a legal cycle essentially. Before we go any further, what the hell is TRT and who would typically take it? TRT is an acronym for testosterone replacement therapy. Sometimes it's called androgen replacement therapy. It's mainly used to treat low testosterone levels, which can be because of your age, but can also be because of a mental condition. As you get older, your testicles produce less testosterone. And lower testicular T also means less release of the hormone GNRH. Lower GNRH causes the pituitary gland to make less LH, the luteinizing hormone. And a reduction in this means lowered overall testosterone production. But all of this happens slowly, kind of like a frog in a frying pan so you don't really notice it over time but there will be times that there will be a drastic drop and that drastic drop can cause a number of things including lower sex drive bad sleep erectile dysfunction and these drastic drops can come from a number of things if we look at pituitary disorders these can be caused by kidney failure small tumors drugs etc hemochromatosis which is basically too much iron in the blood and that can cause testicular failure some medications along with steroids can also affect the pituitary gland and the production of the testosterone boring so i got this kit online i'm gonna be doing <laughs> We've got a few of these needle thingies, this little thing to capture the blood. And then obviously a way to transport it, the sample kit, and then a bag to send it in. Cool. All right, let's start jabbing some fingers. I'm always shocked at how much B-roll these kind of like actual like YouTubers put into their shit. Like the like go around the fucking, you know, vial, go around this, go around the packaging, overlay music and shit. Like it's like high production value stuff, dude. And some of the B-roll stuff. It's like, where do you get this shit? Like anytime I've looked for B-roll in the past, it's like, you want this like 10 second clip of a doctor like writing on a chalkboard? It's like fucking a thousand dollars to use. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand this shit half the time. Nah. Three pin pricks later, three sore fingers. We got the sample. So it says, turn it upside down ten times to preserve the sample. So. Yeah. Really hope this doesn't get copyright claimed. Every time I have a, I react to a video and I hear like music that seems good, I'm like, fuck. I'm sharing my testosterone level results really towards the lower end of normal if you like. Man, reacting to a video, reacting to a fucking video is inception and a half. Right, as you can see, it's within the normal range. 556, I, I, was, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be so much lower than that. 
So, got my testosterone results through. Let's take a look, shall we? Take a look-see. So, my result came in at 15.9 nanomoles per litre, which a lot of people, um, they get theirs done in nanograms per deciliter, so that's the conversion there. 458. So, the normal range is between 7.8 and 31. So, it's not too bad. So, there's multiple things that can affect your testosterone results. I didn't remember them. Let me read them. Being overweight, inactivity, pain medications, steroid use, hair loss medications, and insufficient sleep are all factors that could be causing decreased testosterone in your body. Out Dude, it's funny is how it says hair loss medications in there, which is obviously implying finasteride and dutasteride use, which is totally factually incorrect when they actually increase your testosterone levels. Who knows what this list is from, but it's definitely not a reputable source. One thing to note too is I don't know what time he did his blood test, but that's a massive thing. And I often see completely overlooked by everyone, you know, that's posting blood test results and shit. They'll just be like, this is my test level. It's like, well, did you even go at the fucking correct time? Did you go like late afternoon? Did you go right in the morning? Like what happened? Because your diurnal rhythm of testosterone is influenced significantly by the time of day. So you could have you know, wake up with a fucking 700, 800. By the time you get to the clinic or do your blood draw, if you wait way too long, you might be dipping down to 500, 458, whatever the fuck this guy was. So like, is this representative of what his peaked levels are? I don't know, but a 458 or whatever it was is like not very good, obviously. Of that list, two of the things, insufficient sleep and uh, pain medication. So I'm gonna go into the whole pain medication thing a whole different time because it's, it's been an ongoing thing that if you've been watching me for a while, I did end up in hospital because of it. So if, yeah, if you wanna link the chains and wait for the full story, then yeah, that, that, that's what it was down to. And my sleep has been trash. I've been burning the candle at both ends, two kids and trying to build everything has been tough. But anyway. Dude, I have no idea if he edits his own stuff or not, but if he does and he has two kids, I'm fucking shocked at the quality still. Like he has the B-roll, he has the edits, he has the uh, crazy cinematics and stuff. Impressive, dude, very impressive. All while, all while having 458 nanogram per deciliter test levels, depending on what time of day it was. But yeah, having shitty sleep, if you go, if you do your blood draw after one night of like atrocious sleep, like good luck getting an accurate reading. So those are two of the factors which I think have probably, that probably affected my testosterone result. But yeah, it's still within the average range. So I'd be very interested to see if I correct those things plus a couple other things, what effect it has on my testosterone result. Because what I think people don't realize is the commitment to TRT. At the end of the day, it is a performance enhancing drug, but it's used for a specific reason. So if my result came in at like five or something like that, I'd be like, whoa. And say there's so many other factors. So say like sex drive is bad, which is not by the way. <laughs> Or you know, like I'm losing weight like crazy or whatever, or different things impacting me that aren't based on physique, then maybe. But it's a lifetime commitment. It's not a small thing that you just be like, oh, just double in this and then, nah. There's exactly, and that's why when you have fucking chiropractors like what's his face who are just like, want to lose fat like I did? Get on TRT. It's garbage. One kid whose um, testosterone had tanked. I was watching more plates, more dates. His Holy shit. Testosterone was like 21 nanograms per deciliter or something like that. I was like, 21? That's a madness. And for me, when I saw that, I was like, right, you must have done Psalms or something or have taken something that you didn't know too much about. And everyone said it was safe because that's the thing that people said about Psalms is that, like, oh, it's cool, it's like a legal steroid. No, it's not. It's still messing with your structure. So you probably need to have some kind of post cycle, whatever, after that to get back to normal. And he must have effed that and, right, put. 21. So in conclusion, the way that I'm thinking is there's people with high testosterone and like not an amazing physique and then people with low testosterone with a better physique. There's so many factors that play on your testosterone and I think you're, am I right in saying you're free testosterone or? Yeah, so again, depending on like your freely circulating testosterone is what is going to dictate essentially how much androgens you have to actually bind to the androgen receptor and cause gene transcription, AKA, you know, how much test you can actually build muscle with. Your total test is just how much you produce. However, the free amount that's not actually bound to binding globulins is what actually can get to the target tissue and do what it's supposed to do. But again, the reason why some guys have a significantly better physique, uh, physique even with lower testosterone levels, comes down probably to androgen receptor content. So if you have more androgen receptors, if you have more muscle fibers in general, 
These are things that are going to dictate your body composition in a way where you can have way more muscle than the next guy, even if your androgen levels are way less. You could, there's a reason why certain IFBB pros can use one fucking tenth of the dose of shit that another guy uses to achieve the same muscle mass outcomes. Like, it's not just about drug load, it comes down to the actual response elements you can elicit from that drug load too. So if you need 10 times the amount of shit, you might need, like, some people might need, you know, double the fucking amount of androgens to get the same result because they just simply genetically are inferior in the androgen receptor density component in the, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting fucking distracted by my WhatsApp. I gotta turn this shit off. But yeah, anyway, so androgen receptor content. If you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, put a card up to um, testosterone levels. What was the fucking video? It was about androgen receptor density and how testosterone levels ultimately at the end of the day are not going to be the make or break in terms of your b body composition outcomes. And yeah, they will play a big role because ultimately you need some actual signaling to occur and the shit has to actually bind to androgen receptors to do stuff. But again, if you have more androgen receptor content than the next guy, more AR expression, more muscle protein synthesis, like you're gonna have more of an outcome even if you have less overall hormone burden than the next guy. I don't remember what the video was called. I know the thumbnail was like, testosterone doesn't build muscle or something. If my editor can find out, he'll put the clip up. It was about, uh, some, <laughs> it's about androgen receptor content and I related it back to, you know, L-carnitine, injectable and oral and stuff like that. If you want to check it out, it'll be in the corner. If not, you might have to, <laughs> you might have to dig through my page a bit. So sorry about that. But anyways. Free and the amount that's available that helps you like build muscle or whatever. And what I just said is a basic summary of that video, by the way. That was more of a, I d dove into a study on it and elaborated on ways you could upregulate AR content um, and stuff like that. But the summary I just gave is basically all you need to know. My approach is try and take the holistic approach as much as possible. Assess your life and see whether there's stuff that you can actually change within your lifestyle to make your um, testosterone better rather than just shooting straight for um, TRT. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And if it is gonna be TRT, then it has to be one hell of a reason. I'm not jabbing needles in my bum for no one. I'm, I'm allowed that for now, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Any of you guys who are thinking about it, think hard, think, think very hard. Lifetime, L lifetime commitment, life. Think about life in jail, life. <laughs> I'm out this. Okay, yeah, like he said, it is a lifelong commitment, so you definitely got to know what you're doing before you get into it and understand how intense of an intervention it is. It's not like the chiropractor who just lose, burn some fat because he wasn't, you know, wanted to eat like shit and still gain muscle. You know, that's not <laughs> that's not what you should be getting on for. So he has a 458, but admittedly he has poor sleep hygiene. I don't know what time of day he got his blood tested, his blood drawn. But, um, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into it and you could transiently have like a really shitty level, even though your levels are, you know, totally fine. So it's not like just because he has this one, you know, 450 or whatever it was that it's, oh my God, you need to be on TRT because you're like almost low normal. Like, no. So you have to go by symptoms. You have to go by more than just the arbitrary number on a piece of paper at one snapshot in time. So anyways, cool video. Very impressive. Uh. You know, editing. Every time I see like the effort that goes into this shit, I'm like, wow, dude. So anyways, check out his page. Um, I'm sure he probably has some interesting uh, fitness stuff because he is uh, has a sick physique and he's natural and um, good editing and shit. Maybe he has some good vlogs. I don't know. Check him out. Gabrielle say, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog. Moreplates.com. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Moreplates. Underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter. TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below, including my TRT clinic. Coincidence, um, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. We have very qualified PCCs and doctors that I've vetted myself personally that will be overseeing your care and they will assess if you actually need it or not. They won't just haphazardly throw you on the shit. And I'm having an ab spasm as I am sitting here. Holy fucking shit, dude. That was rough. So anyways, <laughs> check that out and anything else in the video description below. Talk to you guys soon.